Toddlers are so dumb. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I didn't do the dining room because that's it's so much stuff to take out there. To be honest, like my mental state today just cannot handle that. Um, so I decided that this setup really well. I was doing Lego building. So yeah. So what we're gonna be doing tonight as a stream. This month was gonna be all about um DIY beauty, things that we can give gifts for ourselves. Different things. And also decorating our jars on top of that. So they look pretty. My mic keeps cutting out. Why? Probably because I just need to yell into it. I have these candles. They are from a wax of buffalo. It is a candle company that is in Lincoln. Um, I am using their empty jars for my products today. Um, but uh, if you guys are interested in getting their candles, it's waxbuffalo.com. Again, they're absolutely amazing. I'm not a candle person. I'm more like essential oils and stuff, but these guys broke me. Uh, so what we are using or needing today to start off with, you just need a couple jars or some kind of container for your last one. So we are doing a face mask, a body scrub, and we're making shower steamers. And what they are is they're little, little shower pucks that um, you put into your shower in the water, and the water hits it, makes it all fizz apart, and then all of this, the essential oils come up into the steam and wake you up. And I actually, I super love using uh, these a lot. You need two jars, at least two jars, and some kind of container for the third. It could be a jar if you wanted to. I had one floating around here somewhere. Um, or it could just be a container like this. I got this in the dollar section at Target a while ago and I just randomly came across it. You also need super glue and I spent 15 minutes running around my house trying to find this, knowing I put it in a spot that I would remember this afternoon. It was inside the canister the whole time. It's like a bath bomb for your shower, yes. But it doesn't use citric acid, because that's, I don't want to play with that. Um, but yes, they're so much fun. Uh, and you can change the scent, so if you want a uh, really calming shower, then you could do like uh, lavender and eucalyptus or vanilla, anything like that in there. So yes. They are 100% a bath bomb for your shower. Um, so does it have to stay frozen? No, it just needs to be in a cool, dry place. So the ice cube trays are what we're gonna press them into to make molds and then we'll pop them out and then put them in. So um, we're gonna start off with actually working on our jars because that includes spray paint. I was trying to figure out how I could be like, hey, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna spray paint, but that wasn't gonna work because I'm not spray painting in my room, in my office because I would get high <laughs> and make a mess. Let's just start there. I would make a mess. Um, but what we're gonna do is I'm actually just gonna run outside into my garage and spray paint them super quick, let them dry out there. We'll come back and keep working on them. So when I run out and leave you guys at BRB, if you're working with me tonight, you're gonna run out and spray if you can. You're just adding ribbon. So yeah, Jelly's just adding ribbon to her jars. You don't have to, to spray them, but I just love the look of like the little figurines on top. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna do that. I got these horses, <laughs> this pack of horses at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So I'm gonna pick a cute horse to go on top. All right, so because I couldn't find these guys, I did find our reusable one, and I'm wondering if there's still stuff in here. But if you, does anybody else have two horses, one jar, oh gosh. <laughs> um, is anyone else using little figurine friends? Because if you are, you're going to glue him on right now. I want to stick this little guy on my jar. Do you guys like this setup better than out in the in the dining room? 
Obviously for like bigger projects, this won't work, but for small projects, <laughs> no! All right, so let's see. He's good. All right, so. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't. BRB, you get to hear Cello probably knock stuff off my table while I run outside and paint this super quick. I'm gonna paint it white first. So I'm painting these white first. I'm gonna repaint this one, but I'm painting these white first. Um, and then we'll go through and I'm gonna paint, I'm probably just gonna paint them both metallic copper because this one's like a sage sprout green and it's matte. I'm gonna use it for something else. I'm painting them both shiny. So, I'll be right back. I'm back. I ran outside. It's cold in my garage. I painted them quick, knocked over a broom and a shovel, and then made it back inside. I forgot to take this one with me, though. <laughs> so that is our, our jars. We'll go back after a little bit and make sh check them out, make sure they're dry with the white coat. It shouldn't take too long. And then... <laughs> I'm a mess tonight. <laughs> and then we'll go and spray with the copper. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I literally ran out there. <laughs> and I was like, psh, 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 and then that was done. And I ran back inside. Are we ready to actually make something? We are going to start off with the shower melts. And I'm using fun bowls tonight. Uh, this bowl I made in 2005. <laughs> so I was a freshman in college, right? Yep, 2005, freshman in college. I painted this bowl and it has, oh, is it gonna let me show you? It has cereal monsters inside it. And see the little red guy? He's trying to climb out of the cereal bowl. When you pour your cereal, you see him peeking out. <laughs> First. Thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need some cornstarch we're gonna need water we are going to need some citrus essential oils I'm doing a little bit of lemon and a little bit of orange and we're also gonna need peppermint you can do eucalyptus any of those kind of refreshing ones and then you're going to need an ice cube tray so we're gonna need one cup cornstarch I'm not a big like super accurate measurer <laughs> measurer um so that's roughly a half cup to me the end <laughs> all right roughly another half cup all right so the next what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple tablespoons of water at a time we're going to do two tablespoons to start If you've ever cooked with cornstarch before, you know it needs not a lot. And the consistency that you are looking for is like wet sand consistency. If it's too dry, it won't hold together in the mold. If it's too wet, it won't hold together in the mold. It should be anywhere between two to five tablespoons of water. You don't want it to be... Um, you don't want to be too too thin because they'll melt super easily in, in the shower but that also means that they'll probably melt in wherever you're storing them to and you want it to be able to basically it can form into a mold like this so it's it's solid it's not easily falling apart all right so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna add five drops of your citrus main citrus if you're doing a blend so i'm doing five one two three four five i actually like a lot of lemons i'm gonna do a few i'm gonna do maybe 10 ish all right so then what you're gonna do is i'm gonna scoop some of it I'm gonna use my hands <laughs> and i'm just going to press it inside my mold here And you want to press it pretty hard because you want it to be able to be like a a nice solid little friend all right so i just took out the part that 
I felt like I had too much water. Do these go bad? Um, no. I mean, don't keep them around for like six months, but <laughs> they won't go bad in, in a month or so. Alright. So I'm just pressing these down. Again, if they're too dry when they fully dry and they like uh, the, you take one out and it crumbles, um, just spray it with some water and then let it dry again. Alright. So I have my things one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven total. So this will last me probably, I would say, about a month. So these will dry overnight, FYI. And then I'm just gonna put them inside my little container. I wonder if I could get one out now though. Nah, they're all pretty. They're still a little wet. We're gonna do the easiest one next. I did the most difficult one first, cause that way then it, you could feel like you're redeeming yourself. <laughs> um. We're going to do the body scrub next. And the body scrub is one cup of sugar, a quarter cup of olive oil. <laughs> However, I don't have olive oil tonight. It doesn't have to be olive oil. It can be avocado oil or grapeseed oil or almond oil, which is what I am using because I made dinner the past two nights and used olive oil in them, forgetting that I needed it. <laughs> I agree. So let me talk about ingredients real quick then while we're waiting. I'm using almond oil and sugar, vanilla extract. You prefer the pure vanilla imitation should be okay as well. Um, so for our face scrub, it's gonna be the easiest one. Uh, I'm gonna be using the first bowl that I ever made, Benjamin. And this is from 2010. And on the inside with Scrabble tiles, it says, I love you. Cause we're so cute. All right, so what we're gonna do is we need a cup of white sugar. I am using uh, the pure cane sugar. You can use raw sugar. You can use just full on white sugar, um, like the, the processed, bleached, whatever sugar it is. Whatever sugar you want to. If you really want to use brown sugar, you can. Um, white sugar is just what I'm using, so. Sugar smells so good. And then you need a quarter cup of your oil. And originally I said olive oil, which is totally fine. Um, I know somebody had asked if they can use uh, avocado oil. That's totally fine as well. Um, I'm using almond oil left over this light. <laughs> I'm using almond oil left over from when we did our oil diffusers. And you need a quarter cup. <laughs> you're gonna pour that into your sugar. And then you're going to need one teaspoon of vanilla. If you don't have a measuring spoon handy just do a splash and then you need some lavender I don't use Young Living essential oils I get mine off Amazon uh, I get now essential oils or I have the Oracasia brand whatever I can find basically um, and then you're going to do five drops of that of lavender and it should be Kind of a paste consistency. A very good wet sand consistency, actually. And that's it with the body scrub, to be honest. <laughs> and then you're just gonna put it inside your jar. So depending on how big your jar is, you can do more or less, but this one cup of sugar should fill my jar nicely. You can use this as a lip scrub. 
if you want to and just do a little bit when you're getting ready in the morning all of these are good to be out like on a sh like on a shelf as long as it's in a cool dry environment there is a cat that is smelling everything <laughs> So that one cup filled my jar to the brim. That's how easy that one is. <laughs> These are like the easiest gifts to make for Christmas. It's just a cute jar. Make a scrub, put it in there. All right, I'm gonna show you guys my last bowl. This is my tree bowl. I made this in 2011 when I was working at a pottery studio. You just turned 27 Wednesday, yay! And on the inside is one of my, um, one of my life mantras. I don't know if I can get it to work. So it's got swirls, and then my life mantra, and it says embrace simplicity, put others first, desire little, and keep calm. That is what I live by. That and uh, live and let live, do not judge, take life as it comes, deal with it, everything will be okay. Those are the two, two mantras in my life. And the best part is, is both mantras came from the same book. <laughs> and uh, the book is Million Little Pieces by James Frey. It had a whole lot of controversy around it. It was an Oprah bestseller book. Uh, and then it came out that some of the stuff that he wrote about, um, what wasn't true uh, or he expanded on it a little bit um, but he uh, ended up going to jail in the book and um, he started reading the book of Tao and Taoism I think that's how you say it is Tao uh, and that's one of the things is the embrace simplicity put others um, first desire little uh, was one of the things that he kind of came up with and then the live and let live do not judge take life as it comes deal with it everything will be okay is from the book of Tao I think I'm hoping I'm saying that or Tao I don't know if it's Tao like towel or Tao like Tao all right so the last thing that we're gonna make is having cello move uh, is a face scrub and it uses oatmeal and honey and almond oil again, or you can use any kind of oil, avocado oil, olive oil, whatever oil you want to put on your face, coconut oil, if it's refractionated. So I have um, oats and I did, and this is not necessary, but uh, if you do have quick access to a food processor um, or I used our coffee grinder uh, to just pulse your oats a tiny bit so some of them are big and some of them are little uh you can do that you do not have to they could be just the full oats um this just gives it a different texture to it but you're gonna pour that into your bowl one cup of oats and then um you're gonna do a half a cup of honey and a half a cup of your oil if you want to you can add an essential oil in here i would do like just maybe a drop or two because you don't want you don't want it to be a lot um, and then irritate your skin if you have acne you could do a couple drops of tea tree oil so one cup of oatmeal half cup of your oil and a half cup of honey and this we ran out of our local honey and I haven't been able to go and get some yet. So this is just honey from Target. But local honey is gonna be best for you. Like I said, this is just literally honey from Target. It's what I could do. <laughs> We're gonna pour this in and I'm thinking that my jar might be a little, um, a little too small for this. So I might run and grab a bigger jar. But then that means I painted the top of that for no reason. <laughs> oh, well, we'll put as much as we can in this jar and then eat the rest. 
Then you're just gonna mix this up. So this is gonna be more of like an oatmeal consistency. Uh, with this face scrub, um, it is one that you will just wash your face, put this on, rub it around a little bit, and then wash it right off. So the honey has good antibacterial properties for your skin. The oatmeal is a good exfoliant. It's gonna make a huge mess. <laughs> I wish this was facing the other way, you guys can see. <laughs> Look at how right <laughs> to the edge that is. So there is number three. I wanna go get my lids real quick. So they're not 100% dry, but they are dry enough to show you. Looky how cute. I'm gonna grab a different container to show you what I was going to use. So this is an applesauce jar. This is what I was going to use for the shower melt guys. Um, but then I also, if any of you are Kings Coast fans and you have the bourbon um, coffee, this is perfect for when it's all gone. Put them in there too. Do you guys want to know what we're gonna do next month? Yep. Do you wanna do? Do you wanna do this next month? This is what we're doing next month because I need a way to have my herbs indoors, but not on a shelf um, because my cat will eat them. Plus we don't have a lot of like space for it. So I found a spot to do this um, on the wall. I am gonna do maybe three or four on mine. Uh, when next month, I already picked the date too. Those are flowers, but I'm gonna be doing herbs in mine, but you can do succulents or cacti if you want to. Um, you can do herbs, you can do tiny flowers, you can plant whatever you want to. We won't be necessarily, maybe we'll be planting, but we'll at least be making it. So we are looking at May 10th is the goal. It might change, but May 10th. Have a good night, everybody. I will see you on Monday. We will be back for more, um, more Hunter Baby Challenge. Fill up our house. Have a great night.